Okay, here we have a vector space called V and two subspaces of V called U1 and U2. In the first task of this exercise, we need to show that the intersection of U1 and U2 is also a subspace of V. And afterwards, we also have a second task. To show that a vector space is a subspace of another vector space, we need to verify that the zero vector is included, and we also need to verify that lambda times the vector u plus mu times the vector v is also an element of our subspace. The first one is rather easy to verify because we know that u1 and u2 are subspaces, and that is why we definitely know that the zero vector is included in u1 and we also know that the zero vector is definitely included in u2. And because they are included in both of them, they are also included in the intersection of u1 and u2. For the second one, we need two scalars and two vectors. And that is why we choose lambda and mu from the field of our vector space. And we will also choose u and v, which are two vectors. Because the vectors u and v are included in the intersection of u1 and u2, we also know that both of those vectors are included in u1 and in u2. In the next step, we can make use of the fact that u1 and u2 are valid subspaces. And because they are both valid subspaces, we can multiply their vectors with scalars and add them together, and the resulting vector is still in u1, respectively u2. Because we have the same vector on both sides of our statement, and the statement is linked together with an AND operator, we can rewrite our statement as lambda times u plus mu times v is in the intersection of u1 and u2. Whereby we have verified that the intersection of u1 and u2 is indeed a subspace of our vector space v. In the second task of our exercise, we are dealing with the union of u1 and u2. We need to find an example where the union is not a subspace of v. In contrast to the first task, we now need to disprove one of those statements. And because u1 and u2 in itself are valid subspaces, they both definitely have a zero vector. Thus the union of u1 and u2 will also always have a zero vector. That means that we cannot disprove the first statement. Probably the easiest way to achieve this is to use two two-dimensional vectors that point in different directions. For example, for u1 we could choose all vectors that are on the y-axis and for u2 we could choose all vectors that are on the x-axis. Because if we then add them together we get a vector that is definitely not included in either of them. Now we will need to define u1 and u2 as valid subspaces. So for u1 we want all vectors on the y-axis. Therefore x is always zero and y is a variable we will declare y as a real number. Let's quickly check if this is a valid subspace. So we need a zero vector. And if we set y to zero, then well, we have a zero vector. And if we scale up two different vectors and then add them together, we should always get another vector on this line. So u1 is a valid subspace. For u2, the y-axis will always be zero and the x-axis is the variable. Here we also have a zero vector and if we scale two vectors and then add them together, we should remain on this x-axis. Thus u2 is also a valid subspace. Before we can disprove our statement, we need to know what the union of u1 and u2 looks like. If we combine u1 and u2, we will have our vector from u1 and our vector from u2 and x and y are both real numbers. Therefore the union only includes the y and the x-axis. As a last step, we just need to disprove this statement here. And therefore we will use the example of our white vector. For lambda I will just use 1 and for u I've chosen the vector 0, 1. Now we can add to it mu times v and again for mu I've just used 1 and for the vector v I've chosen 1, 0. The, resu the result of this term is the vector 1, 1. And this vector is definitely not included in the union of u1 and u2. Because as we have already said, the union is only composed out of the y and the x-axis. And the point 1, 1 is neither on the y nor on the x-axis. Therefore we have found a u1 and a u2 where their union isn't a subspace of v.